Do you have multiple Xbox consoles in your family and you want to share your Xbox Live between those two? Well, before you spend another $60, make sure you watch this video where I show you how to set up Xbox Live sharing while saving you some money. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and jump right into showing you how to set up your Xbox to share Xbox Live. So now, pretty obvious, but the first thing that you will need to do is actually have an Xbox Live account. Now you can create an account right on your Xbox if you want, or you can go to the desktop and create it on Microsoft's website. And so now once you have that set up, this is the account that you are going to use to share Xbox Live from. And if you already had an account with Xbox Live on it, you're already ready to go on to the next step of the sharing process. Now, step two is you will need to use that account and sign in onto the console that you want to share with. Now note, I did say console as it doesn't matter how many gamer tags are actually on that console. The sharing is given to the console, not the gamer tags that are on that particular Xbox. And so if, for example, if I wanted to use my business account and put it on my personal Xbox behind me and share the Xbox Live from that account to this one, I would only need to sign in to this console with my gamer tag from the business and then any gamer tags I already have, you know, created on this console is going to get access to Xbox Live uh, as long as we have these settings set on this console. All right, and so now that you have your gamer tag onto the console that you're wanting to share with, these are the following steps that you'll need to take in order to set up Xbox Live sharing. All right, so as you can see, we are on the Xbox now. So if you're on the console that you want to share with, you would log into your account and then you would go down to settings. You would click on general and then go over to personalization and then just go down to my home Xbox. And if you haven't done so yet, then you would just click on this, make this my home Xbox. And once you have set my home Xbox to this console, you are now sharing Xbox Live, but you're not quite done just yet. Oh, hey, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you. Okay, so on the console that you just shared the Xbox Live with, you wanna make sure that you also sign into any of the other gamer tags that you would like to have on that console to have access to the Xbox Live that you are now sharing. So again, if you were using my console behind me here as an example, uh, not only do I have my business account on there now, which I'm sharing from, uh, we have my personal account on there. We also have my son's account. And anytime I would want to use my perhaps personal account to uh, be on Xbox Live, I can just simply sign into my account. Uh, if we wanted to switch over and put my son online and play, uh, he would just switch over, sign into his account, and now he has the access to play Xbox Live. Now, let's say that you don't mind sharing your Xbox Live, but you don't really want somebody logging into your gamer tag. You know, perhaps you're really proud of some stats that you have and you don't want somebody going in there and accidentally tanking it. Maybe you got a little brother or something like that and you just don't want that ability for them to play on your gamer tag on the shared console. So what you can do is just simply go into the console again and remove your account from that console. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, will that remove the Xbox Live uh, ability to be shared? And the answer to that is no. You can actually remove your gamer tag from the console. And the key is as long as the console that you're sharing with is set as your home Xbox, then the ability to share the Xbox Live will still be there. Now, another benefit of setting the Xbox Home is the ability to share your games as well. And if you're not really familiar with this, then make sure you check out this video right here where I go over everything about game sharing. And with that said, folks, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.